Okay, so this is problem number 21 from chapter 7. We have a um, general RC, an RC circuit, and we have um, the voltage function, which is 72e to the negative 500t, um, and the current function, which is negative 9e to the negative, uh, excuse me, 9e to the negative 500t. And we're looking milliamps, and we're looking for the reason, the value of the resistor, the value of the capacitor, tau, in milliseconds, um, the initial energy stored in the capacitor, the um, the time that it will take for 68 percent of the initial energy stored in the capacitor to dissipate, and that will be in microseconds. And um, the way that I solve this is. Part A, um, use V, Ohm's law, V is equal to IR to solve for R. Part C, you, I use equation 721, which is probably the hard way to do it, but it still works. So you can try a different way, but the way that I, I will do it here in this video is using equation 721. Tau is just RC from you, what you find in part A and part B. Omega of T uh, of um, Time zero energy stored at time zero. Um, for that one, you will need the capacitor, the general equation for um, the terminal value of, of the capacitor, which is um, what is it? I don't even know. The general. Um, this is from the end of chapter six. Energy is one half capac uh, CD squared. And then you'll set that to thirty-two percent because six and for part E, for energy to dissipate. 68% uh, it means there's 32% left. You'll set that, um, you'll find 32% of the initial energy and set the general um, energy equation to 32%, solve for T. Okay, pause your video, try that, and then check, and then unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so for, for part A, what did we say? We said use Ohm's law, right? V is equal to IR, so I, R is equal to V over I. We should know that in our sleep by now. That's going to be 72 to E to the minus 500 T over 9 E to the minus 500, um, 500 T. The E's cancel out, and we're in milliamps here, which means we'll be in kilo ohms. So for part A, the answer is 8. Kilo now, for part B, we said we need the, um, the uh, I did it this way, I did C, C, D, B, D, T, which is that one equation, plus B over R is equal to zero. And this isn't too much, too hard of math. D, B, D, T is 72 um, times negative 500. Uh, the derivative of that is going to be negative 500 e to the negative 500 t. I'm going to move this over there. V over r is 72 e to the negative 500 t. That's over 8k. And solve that equation, you should come up. So um, I'm not going to do the math because this is not an algebra class, but write that out and convince yourself. Or, if I make a mistake, because I do that all the time, if I make a mistake, then please post a comment and let me know, or better yet, post a video response. Um, this, so this should come out to be 0 0.25 microfarads. Now, tau is just RC. Send me your answer from part A multiply by the answer in part C, and that should come out to be 8 kilo ohms times 0.25 um, microfarads is 2 milliseconds. This one is a little bit harder. First, I'm going to find the general capacitor equation using omega of t is equal to 1 half cv squared. This gives me 1 half C is 0 0.25 microfarads. V is 72 e to the negative 500 t. Square that, 
And when we do that, we come up with a general equation for um, for, en for energy stored in the capa capacitor to be 0.000648 e to the negative 1000 t. That's my general energy equation for the capacitor. Um, so at time zero, e to the 1000, that just becomes one, and that, that gives me 648 microjoules. So energy at time zero is 648 micro, microjoules. And we want to find out in that four part E, how, what is the time when I have 32% left or when 68% has dissipated? And for that, we take 32% of 648 microjoules, and that gives me 207, 207.36 microjoules. I set my general equation to that, 0 0.000648 is equal to um, 0 0.1232736 microjoules, or joules, excuse me. And this is e to the negative 1000 t. So now we have e to the negative 1000 t is equal to 0 0.32. Take the natural log to bring the exponent down moving this up to this line here. This gives me negative 1,000 t is equal to the natural log of 0 0.32. And put that into your calculator. I do the work on the natural logs and the exponentials a little bit more because not everybody is comfortable with that. Negative 1,000 t is equal to negative 1.13943 and so therefore t is going to be um, 1.139 micro or milliseconds millis or microseconds excuse me Ooh. Yeah, I had everything in microjoules, so let's see these. Yes, yeah, so, so when you divide through by that, you get um, how many, the answer, which is point, point zero zero one one three nine, and we want it, the answer in microseconds, so move that out to, uh, so, the, the time in microseconds is going to be 1,139 microseconds. Okay, that's it.